Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining our broadcasting. My name is Douglas Chilombo, and here I am today again sharing with you the Word of God. The Word of God that been handed over to us by the Lord Himself, given to Moses, Enoch, and throughout all the prophets of the whole earth. So today we have Jesus, the Apostle, and so that we can also have the Word of God. Don't mind me if my daughter joined me. Come here. She she's always uh, want to be with daddy when daddy's preaching. Her name is uh, Ariel, and this one also. Her name is Jedelia. Um, guys, go sit down and listen to daddy. Um, let uh, God be blessed for this blessing. Today we're going to share um, Revelation chapter seven, verses one to verses seventeen. Like always, I always say in our broadcasting, we are not here to give you one verse or one passage. We are here to give you the full length of the chapter so that you can experience the reading ability. Because our other policy in this show is to give you the, the opportunity to do the reading of the Word of God. It makes you feel better. He makes you rejuvenated, and you get wonderful after the reading. Um, usually, I do not do like a pre-reading. I just do it right away, and as as it come along, and as we pick up the subject. Today, we're going to talk about 144,000 sealed people. Remember, in my chapter uh, one, two, three. I did mention Ariel. Ariel, if you want to stay here, you stay with Daddy once for all. I'm going to stay here. Okay, thank you very much. You can stay here once for all, and we are all going to get together to preach the Word of God. Um, Jadela, you can also join, because uh, I see that you also want to share the Word of God. Let God bless you forever and ever. Um, we created a special studio so that... Um, we can have a family talk and sh sharing the word of God. Today is a Sunday and let the favor of God be on us. Revelation chapter 7 verses 1 to verses uh, 17. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea. Or on the tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the, the, the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given the power to arm the land and the sea. Do not arm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the forehead of the servant of our God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. we we'll stop right there. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier in the chapter uh, first of the Revelation when we started this book, I say that uh, um, before any tribulation start on earth, before any work that God will start prior to anything, God will seal his own people. So do not worry much about tribulation. Do not worry much about um, you will be persecuted by non-Christians. Do not worry too much that you will be a, a, a prey to prowling uh, 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 you know, beast or people, because the Lord your God will put a seal on your forehead so that they sit down and it do not be so much of a disturbance. It's beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we can all share the seal of God. And if you can see the revelation from number one, chapter one to chapter six, the Lord actually explained the realm of heaven, explained the power of heaven, explained the seals that got broken by the Lamb to this date. In chapter 6, 
you see from verses 1 to verses uh, 17 again, you will see that God actually released different powers, different uh, angels, different uh, mission. I've been given people different authority over the earth so that each one can do whatever it takes to accomplish or fulfill the word of God. In the same saying, now in the chapter 7, I confirm what I say in the chapter 1, that prior to any trouble, tribulation, prior to any trouble or anything, the Lord God, your God, will seal you, protect you from... Shadila, I say no. Uh, guys, why do you guys want to be ruining everything? Discipline is a part of everything too. Yeah, I love you. I know. So the uh, discipline is a part of everything. Are you, am I now right? Mm-hmm. Good. So so that the Lord our God can share the words uh, of a good standard and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I love to every single time I'm preaching, my kids want to join. I say, why, why are we holding them from the grace and favor of God? Let's just do it all together and be thankful because the kids will be inclined as they grow up to be listening and believing in the Lord their God because they believe better English. The English, uh, born English, so I'm preaching in English, and believe me, they understand everything I'm saying right now. Uh, now, as we were speaking, then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given the power to arm the land and the sea. Do not arm the land and the sea. All the trees until we put the seal on the full heads of the servants of our God. Then I heard a number of those who were sealed, 1,440,000 well, from all the tribes of Israel. Here the Lord specifically said that the first anointed people come from Jewish people. The first anointed are a group of 144,000 people. Ladies and gentlemen, you agree with me that since the creation of the world, that number is not that much. And the last time when I did to check myself, uh, we're pretty much in the second page of God's list of people entering the heaven. The last time when I, I, re- I inquired for the list, there were only few pages and I, in my sites, there were only two pages of field of numbers of the people, names of people that will be partaking in the heaven. So, so far with the billions of people living throughout generations, not a lot admitted, not a lot admitted. So uh, that's, that freaks me out sometimes when I wonder. That's the reason why the one day when I read these passages and I asked the Lord God in a vision to show me the list of where, where we are now. And he, he showed me there were two pages, two pages. And I did, yeah, I did actually see my name in one of them. And, you know, the Lord is God. Um, from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of God, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of uh, Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. And from the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that you have to know that from the tribe of Joseph, we also have a Manasseh, Manasseh and Nephtali, Manasseh, who's actually, I believe, one of uh, uh, Joseph's son. So he took also a really uh, a big, big step in the God's um, in thing. Um, I will do my research here to know exactly who's missing. But twelve thousand, they are actually twelve thousand times twelve, which gave us. Uh, um, 144,000 from all the tribe of Israel. And we did not stop there. Because we received the testimony of the Lord Jesus our God. Because we received the testimony of God our Savior, Lord God forever and ever. And 
he actually added it to the number a great multitude multitude where my daughter I Delia, I my wife my brother my sister my dad my friend all my family we will be partaking and share of this word this kingdom the kingdom of the Lord Almighty I know you want to come to daddy's neck but that's not a time <laughs> the great multitude in white robes after this I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation tribe people and the language standing before the throne and in front of the land they were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands and they cried out loud in a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. I explain. After that, after seeing those who were sealed, 144,000 from Jewish uh, tribes, or uh, uh, yes, Israel tribes, John saw also a great multitude in white robes, they were wearing a scent which represent the blood of Jesus because white robes in God's realm is the blood of Jesus. It's not just the saint itself. It's the blood of the Lord Jesus that we wearing to cleanse our sins, to cleanse our things so that we all can be great. Like when I say great, you see my daughter wants to stand a little higher because she want to be like looking at like She knows, as I said, she understands better what I'm saying. And the day... They, this group of people from all over the world, you, me, anybody that believe that God exists, that the Lord Jesus is Lord, sat there and believe and believe in Jesus Christ, and they got actually a, a salvation from the Lord our God. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. You know what I'm saying? Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks to, and honor and power and the strength to be to our be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and the power and the strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are... These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made themselves white in the blood of the Lamb. That's what I was saying to you. In the blood of the Lamb. They were made themselves in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again they will hunger. Never again they will thirst. The sun will not beat upon them. Nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them. Yeah, he will lead them to spring of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, friend, brother, sister, politics, believers, powerful, rich, poor, whoever, however you feel it, I am telling you today that God will seal you to be a partaker of the kingdom and the greatness of the Lord God Jesus. Because the Almighty Himself, God gave us the lamb who were slain for our sins, who were slain so that you and I can have a salvation. Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the lamb. Here God is sharing his glory 
with the lamb because the lamb succeeded and the sat on the right side of the Lord our God as we also will we prevail and we will sit on the right side of God throne so to tell you the truth this is the greatest and the best news that anybody can give it to you a lot of people will try to show you mystery. They will try to tell you how hard this thing is. They will try to give you formula prayer. I'm telling you and I always mention to you, there are no greater mystery in front of God than the resurrection of Jesus Christ. There are no bigger story on earth. There are no greater things that you don't know. I'll show you secret that you have not seen before. It does not exist. The biggest secret, the biggest power, the biggest revealer of everything since the creation of Adam to your existence today is that Jesus Christ was resurrected from the dead. Is a life resurrected from the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call up my daughter, sit down a little bit. As I said to you, discipline is a part of your life too. Daddy might love you a lot, but God wants you to be disciplined. I want you to be disciplined. All right? Okay. So, in sharing the word of God, we see a great mystery. Here, in chapter 5, we see the seals being broken. And I did lay out in the scripture, now going to every single detail mystery, because I give you a secret today. In front of God, every single word, every single letter is a mystery. For example, if I read to you in chapter 7, verses 11, all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creature. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. That means also, I can simply say, all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creature. That, it's already enough. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creature. That may be even more profound in a description and in a prophecy, in a power than what you just see. So all this reading from the Bible to down comes down to today's understanding. The Lord, the Lord Almighty God loves you so much that he wishes you to be a part of a partaker of his salvation. He had given you power, life for free. He had been giving you a day, work, clothing, everything, family for free. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you give in, in, in return of all those kind of stuff? The simplest things, I always say to things to people, the simplest things that you can do to please God is do what you have seen me doing today. Sharing the word of God with your kids. Let your kid be in a family speaking about God. That is the most profound things that pleases also God. If you don't want to, if you want to do a lot of miracles in your life, if you really want to do something and push it forward and see results in your life, I know that the best things to do is to share the word of God as I'm doing here in my house, so your kids can listen, so your kid can pay attention, so your kid can be a part of your mystery because they belong to you as the sons and daughters under your responsibility, but they are God's souls. So you preaching them, instead of going looking for thousands, it's also something wonderful that you can do. And the ladies and gentlemen, anytime that I do hope in my mouth trying to teach about the Bible, my kids always run like that uh, close to me. I'm not saying that they're perfect or saints, but I'm glad to see that they have this effect of listening to the word of God. Instead of uh, pushing themselves away, they draw themselves close and near. And I hope that if we continue like that, they'll receive the unction and the power that God has, you know, prepared for them. If you are sick... If you have any financial difficulties, if you feel hopeless, if you're feeling uh, tired, 
Let God bless you. Let God be there with you. It's a wonderful thing to have God in your life. And it is a such a wonderful thing that God may and always keep you safe and away from all, all, all kind of trouble. Today we we going to pray. We had um, volcano eruptions in Goma in the Republic Democratic of Congo, in the east of uh, Congo, where we always have a war zone with uh, other military uh, group uh, like negative uh, uh, group armies. Um, the volcano, the Niragongo, the Niragongo, I cannot put it more than English, is the Niragongo, uh, in the east of, uh, Republic Democratic erupted. And, uh, thousands of thousands of thousands of people lost their houses. And thousands of people got, uh, displaced for their, uh, natural, uh, environment. A lot of people are homeless right now. We call out for any aids and help that can come from any uh, um, body across the world that would, log, that would like you to help the Republic Democratic of Congo. Um, you may, if you want to contact, you may try to contact any Congolese embassy or you may try to contact um, the government of Congo itself. Or you may have to contact me at plus one four three eight nine two two zero seven one five plus one four three eight nine two two zero seven one five. I'll give you just directive about to um, get in touch with the Congolese people, and I may provide you again different number so that other people can uh, assist you. If you want to do a donation, I know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that you had been following the new, the world news. You had been following everything, the situations that's happening across the world. So if you are now informed, let me inform you that, um, you know, Goma, the city, uh, it had been destroyed, destroyed for good, destroyed, um, a part, it's not the full city, is not the, 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 not the entire city is destroyed, but the near going away is like the lava as it was coming in, it was coming down. Um, in this passage, the lava it destroyed a lot of houses, and we are in a, they are in a despair of AIDS. The government managed to help out, and we pray in the Lord our God to come up uh, always like he, he always managed to save us. And blessed be his name forever, ever. And we give you the opportunity today to have a small prayer with us. And if you do believe that Jesus is God and he can prevent you from any harm, and if you believe that Jesus is God and he keep you safe from anything, pray with us. Lord Jesus, we pray thee, because you are God, almighty of so heaven and earth. You grant us our life every day in a number fulfilled in front of you. You had numbered our days and you were numbered our lives so that we can fulfill it as you, you know, send us on earth too. Uh, be blessed and, 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 and be exalted and let you be always there for us because you're the greatest king we ever had and since you are in charge of everything we believe that you will take care of us and take care of everything that's going around we call this specially this time because we in a need and we inquiring of your 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 your, your power and strength as you are our king our god in your name in the name of jesus to seal this message so that we pray amen ladies and gentlemen if you receive this message uh, I love you a lot and may God bless you in the love of the Jesus, our God. We thank you this Sunday and sharing this broadcasting with you for the rest of the time and forever and ever. May God be our Lord and Savior. Amen.